give a special surprise at the end of this video. But first, a word of Torah. In our Parsha this week, we find that Avraham appoints his servant Eliezer, and he tasks him with finding a wife for Yitzchak, of course, Avraham's beloved son. And Avraham gives him interesting instructions. He tells him, don't take a woman from the daughters of Canaan. Rather, I want you to go back to my homeland, find someone from there. Ultimately, we know it's going to be Rivka, who's actually a distant relative of Avraham himself. And the question is why? Why does Avraham not want Eliezer to take a wife for his son Yitzchak from the daughters of Canaan? The commentaries explain that the daughters of Canaan, the nation of Canaan, has certain negative character traits that the Torah explains in other places. And Avraham knew that certain things run in the family, that Avraham came from a family of kindness, and he knew that to find someone who is truly part of the family tradition of kindness would require going back to Avraham's family itself. We have in our shul this Shabbos a very wonderful simcha celebrating the B'nai Mitzvah of the Netanel twins. And as is well known by everyone, I'm sure everyone watching this video and everyone in Charleston, the Netanel family are one of the most wonderful families in the entire Charleston community, really role models for so many of us. And the uh, apple doesn't far too, fall too far from the trees. And of course, the B'nai Mitzvah this week, Yuval and Avia, certainly are following the footsteps of their parents, and we look forward to celebrating with the entire community this Shabbos. Now we'll have a word from our special guests. We hope to see you at the Bar Mitzvah. And have a wonderful Shabbat.